Hello everyone, I am Dr. Shridhar Tomani, Consultant Interventional Cardiologist at RN Tagore Hospital, Mukundapur, Kolkata. Today I will be discussing about a very important disease in cardiology which is called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. I am discussing on this because uh, this is a quite a common disease but more importantly it is a very deadly disease. So this is a disease with lot of complications although not many people suffer from this disease but it is also not very uncommon as well so uh, to know about the di disease firstly this is a genetic disease that is it is having hereditary transmission so there has to be a family history although many a times the patient is not aware of that family history why because often what happens is maybe some distant relative was suffering from the disease but it was not overtly manifested in immediate parents or first degree relatives like the uh, brothers or sisters it is often not overtly manifested maybe it is very subtle or mildly present and sometimes what happens is those having this genetic abnormality they die at a very young age so they may not survive till adulthood and that is why the patient is not aware of the presence of disease in his uh, siblings i mean peers or parents or any close relatives so this is very important that genetic abnormality having hereditary family history is often present this disease is manifested at around middle age both in males and females that is in the second decade or third decade 20 or 30 years of age the initial manifestation is uh, fatigue decreased exercise capacity sometimes chest pain sometimes unconsciousness uh, heart failures and other uh, fatal complications which I will be discussing in a bit details. So firstly you have to know about the pathology of the disease. I wish to show you something. Suppose this is our heart. Now our heart has four chambers. This is a rough drawing. This we call right atrium. This we call left atrium. This is right ventricle this is left ventricle this left ventricle is the main pumping chamber which pumps blood like this and the blood comes out through an artery which is called aorta now what happens is normally the wall of this left ventricle is thick like this in hcm the walls get thick much thick like this just take me, let me take another pen it gets thick like this and this thickness of the walls is what is called hypertrophy hypertrophy means thickness of the muscles so if the left ventricle which is the main pumping chamber gets thick like this so the space of the ventricle reduces you cannot fill adequate amount of blood inside and moreover because of this thickness like this there is a blockage or obstruction created inside this ventricle so when the blood tries to come out of this through the artery like this the blood is trying to come out because the wall is thick it is obstructing the flow so the blood is unable to come out because there is a obstruction a hindrance that is what is called as hypertrophic obstructive cardiomyopathy now all these things happen because of that genetic abnormality the muscles get thicker and thicker and ultimately obstruct the blood flow so whenever there is inadequate filling obstruction in the blood flow ultimately the patient lands up into heart failure whenever there is heart failure there is inadequate pumping of the blood there will be inadequate blood supply to the different major organs like kidney like liver like peripheral arteries like brain and this pressure this blood will accumulate inside lungs in the peripheral limbs and that will cause to edema shortness of breath 
pulmonary edema and many other complications. So I am not going into the details of medical terminologies. What will happen is heart failure, patient will have shortness of breath, they will be having decreased exercise capacity, maybe previously that patient was walking for a uh, uh, few, few miles without any problem, now he is having fatigue, he is feeling short of breath like that. This is called heart failure. But the more deadly complication, the more worrisome complication is arrhythmias. Such patients often have abnormal heart rhythms. That heart rhythm may be very fast and that may cause ventricular tachycardia or atrial fibrillation. These are called VT or atrial fibrillation. Now these are some very serious complications because we all know that the heart beats for uh, 70 to 80 times in a minute. In these complications, the heart starts to beat for maybe 150, 200 or even more beats per minute. So a heart was beating like this, now the heart is beating like this. So you can understand that the heart is unable to pump out properly adequate amount of blood with every beat. And in such situations, the patient often immediately collapses and that can lead to sudden cardiac death. So that is the most dangerous part of this disease called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So what should we do? See, you can no way reverse the progression of the disease. There is no medicine which can halt the progression or severity of the disease. So you have to treat heart failure, you have to treat these rhythm abnormalities and you have to keep the patient uh, symptom free for as long duration as possible. So on one hand you will have to give adequate medicines for his heart failure, shortness of breath, chest pain like that. And on other hand, you have to give medicines for reducing these arrhythmias, VT, atrial fibrillation. And now there are some surgical options. Number one surgical option is uh, myomectomy or alcohol septal ablation. Now what we do is some interventional procedures are there by which we block blood supply to this portion of the heart, that thick portion of the heart some artery is supplying blood to it, we block that artery so that these muscles do not get any blood supply and they die off. If they die, it will become thinner. So the thick part of the ventricle will become thin and that will allow blood flow. So this is called alcohol septal ablation. Sometimes what we do is surgically by open heart procedure, we cut these muscles. That is done by the surgeons. They do an open heart surgery and cut this muscle, take out the portion of the bulk of the muscle and make it thin that is called myomectomy. And another thing is if there are arrhythmias like VT, we can put in some advanced pacemakers which are called AICD, automated implantable cardioverter defibrillator. These are advanced pacemakers which have capaci capacity to give electric shocks. You can see in different uh, uh, television programs that whenever a patient lands up into emergency, we give electric shocks on the chest. This thing is done by that pacemaker from inside because you never know when such complication will occur. So if you have an AICD built in or put in that detects the ECG, that detects that yes VT is occurring and they immediately give electric shock from inside to save the patient. So that is very life saving. So we have to very carefully address these issues. We have to do a lot of investigation in such patients like cardiac MRI, echocardiography, angiography. And another important thing is these HCM patients, hypertrophic cardiomyopathy patients, they have very early onset of coronary artery disease as well. And that leads to heart attack. So whenever we find a HCM patient, we need to do a proper eco evaluation, a cardiac MRI to see fibrosis. We have to do a coronary angiogram to uh, rule out coronary artery disease and then we have to proceed for medical and surgical management. So my take home message from today's discussion is this is a very complicated disease. 
uh, a deadly disease which can lead to premature death in many patients so whenever there is any suspicion of this disease kindly visit a cardiologist do proper evaluation and treat yourself thank you